with SQL migration extension in ADS allowing them to migrate a 400 gig database? Let's find out together on today's Tales from the Field. If this is your first time finding us on Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us that subscribe. On Tales from the Field, we drop content on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Tuesdays, we have this thing we call the Roundtable, where we share links, blogs, posts, videos put together by you, the Azure Data community for the Azure Data community. Then on Mondays and Wednesdays, we like to drop this thing we call MS Tech Bits. You're watching one of this now. Let's get over to it. Continuing our migration discussion, we're going to migrate to Azure SQL Database offline using the SQL migration extension. Here is an important tip, but also an important note. Currently, online migrations for Azure SQL Database targets aren't available. We'll talk about that later in another video, but I just wanted to point that out. Here, we're going to look at our SQL migration extension options, the prerequisites that are required. Definitely go through these, understand the security required, understand that you have to have your Azure SQL database on your SQL server created ahead of time. And most importantly, we have to have our SHEER, our self-hosted integration runtime set up and tied to our data migration service. The reason why we want to do that is now the data migration service allows us to import our schema from our source database. It used to be we used to have to use a pro our product like the DAC pack or even our database project extension. All right, our environment, we have our Azure SQL database stack over for the large created prerequisite sitting on our SQL server. We also have our SQL server VM that contains our Stack Overflow large. Note, behind the scenes here, a couple things I've installed. If you recall from the prerequisites, we have to have the self-hosted integration runtime configured to our data migration service, which I have also installed. Let's start the migration. Right mouse click on our SQL Server Managed Instance. Click on Manage. You're going to see our Azure SQL migration here on our dashboard. We're going to select a migrate to Azure SQL. This should all look very familiar from previous videos. We're going to start a new session. Click Next. We're going to select the Stack Overflow Large Database. 400 gig plus, right? I made you a promise. We're going to look at that. All right, on our assessment summary and SKU recommendations. This screen is going to look a little different than previous video. I think the team made a nice quality of life adjustment here and reorganize things. Here we'll see the assessments and SKU recommendations for our Azure SQL targets. We could also run our performance gathering data collection there. We're gonna go ahead and select next. It's gonna take us to our target platform and assessment results. We're gonna select on Azure SQL database in this case. That's what we wanna to migrate to. It's gonna give our assessments. You can see I have the Stack Overflow large, couple of findings on the instance there, but zero on the database. So we've got a green mark, a green ready to go. So we're going to select next. This will take us to our next screen, which is the Azure SQL target. We're going to hit connect there. We're going to fill in our tenant, our subscription, our location, the resource group, the SQL server that contains our Azure SQL DB. We're going to hit the drop down here and you're going to see Stack Overflow Large. We're going to select that and that will take us to our Azure Database Migration Service screen. Here you can see I have my subscription filled in, but most importantly, I have my Azure Database Migration Service and I've got that green check mark saying that I have it tied to my self-hosted integration runtime. If it wasn't, you'd have that red check mark there and you have your keys to hook that up, we're going to go ahead and select next for our data source configuration. We're going to type in our password there for our username. Then down here, we're going to hit edit. We're going to go migrate our schema. Remember now, important change. We can migrate our schema using the data migration service. We're going to select on the missing on target. That's important here. We're missing all these table schemes. So we're going to go ahead and select those. We're going to select update once we validate we have the tables we want selected and you're gonna want to do this 
you're going to want to run validation. If you hit sit next, you'd get an error. So let's run the validation real quick. It's going to validate our integration runtime, our source database connectivity, and our target database connectivity. Once we get all green check marks, we're going to hit finish. Then we're going to hit next. It'll give us our summary screen. And what are we going to do? We're going to start our migration over here on our migration screen. We're going to select on our migration. We're going to select Stack Overflow Large, which provides us with additional details about our migration. In this case, that we are creating and migrating the schema. You could also look at the same information in our data migration service by clicking on Stack Overflow Large. And you can see on this screen that the schema migration is pending. All right, let's switch back over to our Azure Data Studio. Back here in Azure Data Studio, we see that our migration is still in progress. The schema has migrated successfully, but now it needs to prepare and migrate the data. On the screen, you can see that it's in the preparing process, and there's actually a copy process down here as I scroll down that is actually taking place. Once this is complete, you'll see it succeeded all over the screen. We can go back at the high level of our migrations, and it shows us that it took approximately 10.8 hours to migrate from our SQL Server VM to our Azure SQL DB. Not too bad for the amount of data that we're migrating. We could also see the same status by switching over here to Azure Data Studio, and it shows us the same detailed information that it took approximately 10.8 hours to migrate. All right, we wanna make sure that we can query our data. I did a quick query of my badges table there. All right, there we have an achievement received. We migrated 400 plus gigs of data to our Azure SQL DB using the data migration extension. Some said it couldn't be done. We proved them wrong. Keep in mind, folks, this was a 10.8 hour migration. So you need to plan accordingly when migrating to Azure SQL DB, a database this large. And you know where we like to keep this going. In the comments down below, let us know what you think. How are you moving large databases like this to Azure SQL DB? And as always, be good to each other. To do the aftermath of preparation, good food, good mood, blood in circulation.